Why are you screaming? I'm finally facing it all Fearless <laughs> What is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to today's vlog today we're going to go over a couple of snakes and we have an ultrasound machine that we haven't filmed with yet so we are going to work on one of the snakes i want to take out um one of our female boas and i want to work on trying to ultrasound her we've been ultrasounding and i've been posting on social media if you follow on instagram i've been ultrasounding a lot of the ball pythons and posting that uh, but we are going to work on the boa and i don't see too many videos of ultrasounds on boas there's some out there but it's predominantly all ball python so i want to do uh the boa and then i might even do the angolan python or i might save the angolan for a different video but i want to at least check we have two female boas that are pretty big one is not very friendly whatsoever so uh, we'll get that one <laughs> done uh hopefully and also our sun glow that we've actually been pairing so that's the one that really matters right now but i want to do both just to make sure that one um see if either of them have follicles or maybe one does one doesn't and I've been pairing the sun glow, but now that we have the ultrasound, uh, it might be better to make sure that we're doing this the right way. So uh, I'll get Kristen down here. Maybe she can uh, help me out. So let's see if we can get her to come downstairs. Hey, Kristen, can you come downstairs? It's an emergency. Hun, there's like a lot of blood. It's like real important. What are you doing? Hey, can you help me ultrasound some snakes? What are you eating? Is that an egg? Yes. What's on the egg? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. The mayo? Egg and mustard. Mayo? Egg and mustard? I can have mustard. I can't have mayo. All right. So uh, we have Nurse Kristen. You should have a nurse's outfit. Mm. Oh, that was like, I don't usually snap with my right hand. That was a good one. Oh, I can snap with my right hand now, but it's not working. All right. So we're going to ultrasound the boa. Don't ruin my video. Sorry. Oh. And now I have 3,000 subscribers, so all 3,000 people might be watching this. So go subscribe to Kristen's channel. Let's see if we can get her yeah, some subscribe subscribers. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. It's, uh, see if we can get her to. On. All right, so let's turn this thing on. All right, so now we have to get out the boas. Oh, and the Astro Glide. And we also have Astro Glide. This is great for um, putting on here if you don't have the uh, the right. Gel Astro Glide works on here, just like KY Jelly also works on here. You could pretty much lube this thing up with anything. But we're gonna try with Astro Glide today. This video is sponsored by Astro Glide. She's coming out already. Yeah, she's hungry. Good. All That's right. good. I'm stepping all the way back because I know that he is a jerk. Yes, he is. Oh, they pooped. I could smell it. Yeah, I can smell it too. Oh, he's got me. He's being such a jerk. See? He's a typical man. Who you got there? Uh, did we have a name for her? I forget. We call her Sun Glow. Yeah, just our uh, Sun Glow Boa. We got her at White Plains at the expo. We did. Alright, so... Alright, how are we going to do all this? I don't know. I feel like you're already failing. So we've got a... Somebody's got to hold the snake. You have to work the machine. So let's set the camera up. Better. Better. And then once we get this, yeah, I think it's working. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is take a little Astro Glide across the top here. I'm gonna get Astro Glide all over my face and beard. Wouldn't be the first time, I suppose. Okay. What is that supposed to mean? Alright, so what we'll do is, uh, if we get a follicle, she'll freeze it and then we'll show you. The, oh, he's gonna go. See, hold on. Uh. She's mad because you called her or him. She's in my beard. She's, in, yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna wrap you in the jugular. She's gonna bite you. Alright, hold that. <clears throat> okay, ready? 
she's gonna fall. Oh, oh she's gonna get mad at me. Hold on. All right, hold on a second. Hold this. Do you want me to come back when you're better prepared for the task at hand? Um, I don't want her to wrap so much. I want her to be relaxed during this. She doesn't process. want to relax. Relax. We sing our song. It was easier when she was like draped over me. She's too active. I'm gonna stay there. Okay, ready? Damn it, she was ready like a second ago. Don't worry, see. Is that a little bit? There you go. Uh, no, not yet. Ready? You freeze that? It's a good one. Alright, so that's one of the follicles there. So what she's gonna do is go and measure from one side to the other. I think right there. And what do we have for? 28. 28, and then let's just do one top to bottom also. I think that's it, I think. Yeah. So 28 across 24 is the average. Uh, so we we did this uh, a couple days ago and got 20 millimeter follicles. So we'll do a couple more follicles, see if they, they're different sizes or if they actually did just grow to 28. Oh, there's more. There's a lot of them. Freeze that. There you go, you can measure that guy. All right, so that's another one there. That one's a little bit smaller. That one's measuring 19.5 uh, across. There you Yeah, she's really mean. She is not having it. She's like quick too. This is called thrashing.
can't tell if it's too yeah. fast. Oof. Oh man, I think I got that on camera. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How far is her, uh, her strike? She teed right up on my hand. <laughs> Damn! Yikes! Not with the biting. Go. You see it's not gonna work. Go. Who was more cranky, me or this snake, being pregnant? This is like you on a weight cut. <laughs> Currently weight cutting. She's such a bitch, she nodded herself up so you can't even get your... I can't tell, like there's only one there. You see, it's like, you see yeah. one follicle. Doesn't make sense. That's really mean. This is like. I just want to be clear. If she strikes at you and you cry, I'm not helping. I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh. Just, just gonna pretend like nothing happened. So find like your biggest, meanest snake. Cover it in Astro Glide and try to handle it. Do you want me to move that? No. Okay. I'll just stand here. I think I'm helping. I wonder if I go forward. Not under the couch though. Here we go. Oh, she just wanted to hide. <laughs> Alright, you can go in there. She has got her eye on you. How are you gonna do this? Why are you screaming? Because I got scared. About what? Oh, look, baby, you're like a snake handler. Good job! <laughs> Yay! And everybody will dog it because they're like, why are you using a hook? Oh, we're just because we don't want to get bit. I think it's a win. Not getting bit is a win. Some people just like to get bit. All right, well, very uneventful. So we basically found out nothing with her. But we just didn't find follicles, so. Did we know she was a jerk? But we're also not breeding her, so it doesn't really matter. We've been breeding this one. But this one did show us a lot of good follicles. I think they're in love. Okay, so the next snake we're gonna try to do uh, is the Angolan Python. The only thing that has me nervous about this is the scales are so beaded and bumpy that I, I just hope we can get like a good enough uh, like image. And also like the active snakes are kind of a pain. Do you think that you would call her active? Yeah, like she won't just sit still. Like the ball pythons just sit there. So they kind of make this easy. And Angolans by nature are just very, very are they from Africa? They are from Africa. Are they really? So we're ball We're going to see you. If we see one in Africa, can we wrangle it? Yeah. Are those follicles? I think they are. If they are, they're very, very long. Oh, that might be spleen, right? Yeah. Oh, that's her gallbladder. Okay. So that's here's egg one. So that's one. Okay. We're on number two. We're not moving. 
I see number three starting. That's three. That's three. Try to measure, but it's off the screen. Ready? Ready? You freeze it. It's screen. It's edge to edge. Did it freeze? Did you get it? I think so. Is it frozen? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll try and put this in here. I mean, that's definitely four, right? Have we counted? Yeah. This is edge to edge, though, right? That's 40. And then if I go, is this bottom right here? No, I think like here. There? Yeah, to there. Up and down it's 24.9, so 32 and a half is the average, but 40 long. So I'm trying to feel, it's called palpating. I'm looking for to feel the eggs. You can actually feel them if you're gentle and slow, and only when she's straight. There's one here. There's one here. I felt three that time. Last time I felt four. Four before, but definitely you could definitely feel the shape of them. They're definitely large. I just hope there's basting babies inside of them. <laughs> hope they're not duds. So I must say I'm actually really excited. The boa, the sun glow went really good. So we ultrasounded her about a week ago and she had 20 millimeter follicles. This time they were about 24 to 28. It's only been maybe about maybe 10 days, I think. So um, they do look, some of them did also measure about 20, some measure about 24. Um, so I do think they're slightly bigger now. Uh, the other boa, um, we aren't pairing her anyway, but I just wanted to try this season um, just to see how big her follicles are. And I actually was really fighting, she was fighting with me hard. So um, I don't know if she didn't, didn't have any follicles or I just couldn't get any on the screen, um, but it just did not go well with her. And the Angolans, we surprisingly did the Angolans. I wasn't sure how that went. That went really well. So her follicles are actually, they were actually bigger than the screen. So the screen from end to end on the screen is 40 millimeters. She was just outside the ends. So I want to say that her follicles were over 40 millimeters big. I don't know how big an Angolan Python's follicles get before they ovulate. She hasn't ovulated yet, but she's definitely at 40 millimeters. So if I believe boas are about 45 when they ovulate. So I wanted to say Ball pythons are about 40, so she's got to be probably about 40 to 45 is when she'll ovulate. So I think we should get an ovulation soon. And we got a really good scan that you'll be able to see, and that was four follicles, exactly four. And Kristen palpated her twice and felt four. And then we tried to film it again, and I think she felt three both times. But I think she's going to I think she's gonna go this season, and I think she's going to lay four eggs. So that's my prediction. I do think the bow is going to ovulate as well. If she's at 24, I don't think like she's going to reabsorb or anything. I don't even know if boas do that, but... Uh, she could slug out and just give us a bunch of slugs, but I think something's going to happen with her. Uh, I think she's eventually going to ovulate. So I do think the boa will go this year. I think the Angolan will go this year. Um, and and that's it. So maybe we'll do another video down the road of all the ball pythons and monitor the growth of the uh, the follicles. But So this is my first time, my first season using the ultrasound. So uh, I'm writing down all of my predictions as well. When I ultrasound them, I'm trying to go... Uh, from gallbladder all the way so I don't see any more and I'm trying to predict how many follicles I'm seeing to make sure I'm doing it right. So if I can, 
at least get very close. Like if I say, oh, I think there were six and then they lay like 12 eggs and I know I was way off. But if I say six and they lay five or seven, then I know I was right about there. But I want to see if I'm actually doing this right. So this is kind of fun. Um, you know, I think we're having, a, we're having a lot of fun doing it. Some of them, it's frustrating uh, trying to get some of them to sit still. Uh, the boas are tough when they're big and then you start putting like gel all over them or the ultrasound gel, they get so slippery. So it is getting very tough, but uh, I think we're getting better with the machine. So Overall, I think tonight went really well. And if you guys have any questions or if you see something that I did wrong, please shoot me an email or comment down below and uh, let me know and I'll, we'll try to fix it or redo it. But like I said, I do think the Angolan, um, again, I don't have, there's not much information on the Angolan. So I'm really excited to kind of track this. She is five years old, but was, I think, very underfed. I think she was fed just mice uh, from the previous owner. And so I think she's small for her size, but she is of age. So uh, she is pushing about 2,000 grams, and I believe most breeders say that at the five-year mark, they should be closer to like three to 4,000. Uh, some people say 5,000, 6,000 grams. So there's just not a ton of information, and if there are, a lot of breeders almost seem reluctant to just share. I've asked a lot of breeders when they lay, how big was your Angolan before she laid? How big was she when you started to breed her? And most of them will say, I don't know, or I don't have a scale, or I didn't weigh her. And um, I don't know if that's just true, or they just don't give info. So the information for Angolan breeding is kind of hard to find right now. It's definitely not like ball pythons where people just lay it all out for you. So, so that's it. I'm done rambling on. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found some of it entertaining, some of it useful, and I will catch you guys on the next vlog. Peace out, everybody.